All right, I've got a real treat today. This little beauty is called a cuckoo wasp. It is what's known as a hyperparasite, which means it is a parasite upon parasites. And then we've got this little guy, which is a pupa of some other wasp species, which was parasitizing the cuckoo wasp. Okay, we've got this tiny unidentified parasite, which was preying upon the cuckoo wasp, which was itself a parasite of the mud dauber, which is itself a parasite of spiders. So I was hoping to get some mud dauber larvae out of these chambers, but I found nothing but parasites within parasites within parasites inside. It's like Russian stacking doll parasites. It's like Parasite Inception. All right, here we have a black and yellow mud dauber wasp nest. Um, they make these kind of globular chambers out of mud, fill them up with paralyzed spiders, and they let their larvae just kind of eat them at their leisure. So they're considered a parasite of spiders. Okay, you can tell by the caps, one, two, that there's actually two chambers in here. They'll run lengthwise. Mm, it's like a muddy Christmas present. Let's open it. Well, we open the chamber and we find another type of wasp. Okay, so these two guys that I pulled out of the mud dauber nest are actually a type of potter wasp that use abandoned mud dauber nests. So they're not a parasite of the mud dauber. However, they are parasites of caterpillars. These mud tubes belong to that of the pipe organ mud dauber. Oh, somebody's home. Ah, that's a wasp pupa in there for sure. Look at that. Okay, here's another one. A little bit further along in its development. You can see it's getting some color. You can see the wing pads there. Legs, 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 antenna, eyes. Okay, here I've got an intact nest from a mud dauber. And... And that's what the pupa looks like. Alright, and here's the view from the inside. This is the first mud dauber nest I came across that was not totally infested with parasites. So I'm going to try to hatch these guys out.